Anything else out of AOG? The kits look fine. He's not responding, so... Oh, they're good. All right. Let's do this. The finals. Time to be oh, free. Shit. Time to be free. A, uh, attorney online general versus grand strategy general. Kicking off. God. Manager tip sponsored by Dr. Jugal. Is your team not scoring enough <laughs> goals to win the dice roll? Remember, Koopa, if you buy enough gems, you can definitely win. <laughs> yep, love, sounds about right. I love Pez knowing stuff. Oh my god, Jugal, please bless my roll. <laughs> you creepy bastard. We have a draw today. Uh, no, no more draws. Please, AOG and or GSG, save us. Let's have some anthems. amount of rigging that I caught during the anthems. I just need to set some things for GSG real quick. Ah, oh, defense. Defense line too. There we go. Rigging so, button. hooray! <laughs> Kicking off. I noticed that AOG has a Frenchie in their strikers, and it just so happens that GSG is peppered to the brim with Germans. How do you intend to deal with this discrepancy in ability? Well, it depends on if uh, GSG are forced well, to move I... to their preset 3, because then syndicalism comes in. You know how that works. No, I, I just saw a Frenchie just murder a German good. <laughs> oh, an immediate yellow for Pablo, so that would mean something if there was a match after this. Because <laughs> that's his second yellow. I think. <laughs> Nobody's been recording the cards really. Like, it's good. Great. Oh, that's a good Great. position for a free kick. Free kick, but Sweeta. Ooh. Sweeta free comes is able to get to it. Now, can AOG break through the wall of GSG? Vita Gen came close. They were ultimately unsuccessful. These, uh,. Unstoppable force versus immovable object build matchups are always so interesting because it always seems as though the immovable object just ends up starting to score goals when they do, when those matchups happen. S seems to know when we're when we like to do those things. Mm. Well, it makes sense. All <laughs> when the offense, yeah, when the offense spends all of its time trying to who get past the defense, it tires themselves out, running all over the pitch. The defense can just walk all over them. Turkey. It's not even that. It seems like the defensive, the air quotes defensive team just wakes up and starts scoring like a madman. That was a nice play by AOG, but cut out by the defense at the last touch. And this might be endemic of the game here. I ex kind of expect this. AOG getting fancy with it, doing nice. But just right here. That's a nice ping pong in the box. Yeah, right here in the box, it starts getting ping pong, and that's just how GSG have been defending. AOG will get a corner here. Like, this is fancy, this is good, this is controlled. Yeah. But right here, it just gets swarmed. <laughs> yeah. See it? see it? Do you see it? Do you see the hole in their defense? <laughs> Hold up. Corner kickers. All right. <laughs> oh no, another little rigging. 
He didn't mention this one, so it's not me. <laughs> he wants them on the fullbacks, I'm pretty sure. There you go. Also, no, I didn't see the hole in their defense. You're going to need to hint Quinn me a little bit more. <laughs> it's literally right there. <laughs> They're going to take this corner short. I see it. And it's a ruse. We are lawyer off the bar. Oh, <laughs> goes over Greg's head and it's cleared. That is such a god. It's got to hurt if you're AOG, but they're going to try again. We are lawyer. We're lawyer open. Saved over the bar. That's a corner. Ooh. Ooh. What a siege. What a ruse. What a play. Art sloppers right there. Some of the best uh Reaches we've seen of GSC's defense this entire cup. Now AOG are going to have another attempt here at a corner. Is it going to be a short one for real this time, or is it another ruse? It is for real, short. 3-2 non-lethal puts it into the box. Turkey's favorite mind is headed the wrong way. Juhan clears it. Oh, Mitt. Oh, Mitt loses it. That card trying to pick it up. Juhan clears it. I guess he's trying to bait some more than Map Durway now. Maybe a little dangerous here. Here's Wilhelm. Case is able to head it back. Turkey is able to put it further up. Pablos picks it up. Ass pulls. Takes it away. <laughs> well done. Yeah. That's a good takeaway. Here's that card. Putting it up for Greg. Matt Penny Simulator gets in the way. That card picks it up. Putting it further into. Oh! oh! What a shot! I'm <laughs> left completely speechless. That was off a defender's back. <laughs> the cheekiest of lobs. That is a card. That that Whoa. card puts it one nil. Take that. Unbelievable! What a shot! What a play! Just miles from the box, past a defender. Greg leans out of the way so it bumps off a defender's shoulder into the goal. That yeah. was something. That has to be a goal of the tournament right there. That was if that is the winning goal. <laughs> that was <laughs> astonishing. I was completely left speechless that that went in. But now it's 1-0 for AOG, and for the first time, I think GSG... Well, no, not for the first time, but for the first time in a while, GSG have to sweat a little bit more than they did before. Yeah, and they certainly are working up an answer here. Here's Mosley. Gets it around. Blocked. Blocks it. Base Holmes. But, but yeah, AOG, you learn that when, when the opponent's defense is too great, you've got to turn their defense against them. <laughs> Apparently, uh, yes. yeah. He has classic advice. Uh, and uh, AOG are not safe. GSG, despite being so defensive, have not been toothless this tournament, especially here in the final day. And uh, this could easily turn into a one-all. Yeah, they've certainly got gotten the attacks. They just need to follow through with it, and and we'll definitely have a tied game. Looks like we have a case. What we say? Yes, I suppose you could say that. <laughs> Uh, here's Steam Court Plaza driving up the uh, the wing with the Kingfish. Wilhelm, back to the Kingfish, keeping on to that ball. Kingfish as it, well, as they say, you never know. Willie could waggle his Willie straight <laughs> into that into that AOG ass. They, he definitely fucking could. He almost did there. Couldn't receive that pass. And AOG going on a run here. Greg 
Turkey, a favorite of mine. To Greg! Uh, he was Ooh. anticipating a little too much there. Oh, We Are Lawyer picks it up, gives it ass, pulls that card. Getting it over, trying to get it over to We Are Lawyer. The defense is there, 32 non-lethal stab wounds. Greg, headed. It's an easy grab for Sweeta. The thing about the GSG defense is that it's actually really, really good at the just immediately dropping back when the when they notice that the balls fall into AOG's hands. And that's worked well for them, but it's also hard for them to, grab, to get it back like, like that because it just allows AOG to keep sieging if they can. Yeah. All right, that's the end of the first half. 1-0 for AOG. Five shots, five, five shots for AOG. Yeah, and, he, and here we see the siege in effect. Mm. Nice duds on your pass completion. Let me see if there's anything for uh, GSG at the half. Pace bin? Nothing yet. Yeah, they're in pace bin. Nope. Alright. On to the second half then. Stopping at 65 for subs if there's not another goal by AOG. GSG are kicking off. Here's Juhan. Juhan getting around Turkey, trying to get it over to Willem! It's wide! Ah! That was pretty clutch. I didn't know if the door was going to be able to grab it first. It always seems to be a problem that they try to shoot straight. This is one of those part times where you really have to just try to guess and shoot it at an angle. Oh wait, he was running. He was running straight into that. No, he couldn't have done that. What a shame. All right, now here's the AOG. Seems to be. Just just only gone down one other time in this tournament, I believe. That okay. was against FFG. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they've drawn. Or uh, one every other time. Yeah, that is their only loss the entire time. Aren't you proud? And it wasn't. <laughs> oh, shut up! It wasn't. It, look, I, I was just saying it wasn't. It wasn't a very. It wasn't a big loss at all. No. Was, two was that what, big a deal. what was? Which was what I was about to get to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean GSG just <laughs> Pez Seventeen has been very kind to GSG. Because they've always loved defensive styles, and defense just works very well in PES 17 compared to other versions. Here's AOG, Aspoles trying to get over to Greg, but he goes back to Aspoles. Takes a shot himself, and it's saved! Yikes! Seems as though AOG's strength is just taking these shots from outside the box. And you have to be when the GSG is just completely swarming it up in there. Been set pieces one after the other, <laughs> looters, and that one miracle goal, I guess. Rips up evidence, putting it overhead, it, over the bar. We are lawyer misses. But what you also see with AOG is like the, a few like, uh, passing goals, like crossing in. Mm. They're gonna try that again, apparently. Oh no. Rips up evidence. Gant yeah, this one's going to be a long one. No, it's punched away by the keeper. Omit. Omit getting over to that card. Getting over to 32 non-lethal. Just trying to get around these GSG players. <laughs> the door coming way the <laughs> fuck out. There's a lot of backup in that box there. It just keeps bouncing off and going into shit. another AOG attacker. It's like pinball here. A wild manager appears. GSG tells uh, me to do a change. Ah, here we go. They want to switch to their preset three and make the subs, all right? It's about the LB. So for a RMF and an SS. So Matt Painty Simulator coming out for syndicalism. Haha, <laughs> here we go. The RMF's fine. So I was slipping out the DMF for a less tired DMF. All right, so Steam Core Plaza out for Rhodesians. And it looks like Pavlo's out for Liquor Factory. Everybody else looks good. Stat yeah, boys. can't oh, have yeah. shit posters oh, ruining God. GSG's chances. Reminder, GSG has no official Steam or Discord groups, whatever. 
you find with the CB or the CMF being wrong position because that's all you've got. You only have three here, so you can only do... Because they have a 70 right now for CB. I've just kind of been winging it because the GSG manager hasn't been here. But he's here now, apparently, possibly, so... I'll just go with Pavlos if he doesn't say anything. That way there's your conditions. I'm gonna give it a whole um, 15 seconds. Is he gonna go for slider changes? Uh, he already did the preset change, which already has ah, different Ah, fair stuff. enough. Alright, uh, yeah, alright. I'll go with my discretion. I took out the CMF instead. Or, well, he gave specific stuff, but he says the RMF, but the RMF is in position, so. Throw in for GSG. Yep, the subs will come on. They're on their preset three now. Open and shut is able to clear it away. The Kingfish will pick it up. Trying to get it over. And offsides. I. I've seen this yeah. preset once before. Yes, it got... Definitely seems to be their uh, desperation preset. It is. Um, and GSG has scored late on this preset. So now AOG definitely need to watch out. Cynicalism has gotten 90 plus before. Uh, he Ooh. waited too long, tried to hold that up, and got interrupted with that ball. Maybe he should have just tried to go ahead and shoot it. One sec. Juhan goes on the wing. Aha! Oh, okay, so... Oh, I see. It's a little too late, though. But there you go. Ah, yeah, there you go. Now he's in position. There you go. Interesting. All right. No problem. Here's Juhan putting it way up for syndicalism. Oh, oh. the shot gives it to rips up evidence. It's hard to see if he was ahead of open and shut there because of the way that model works. Yeah. yeah. Ah, Turkey. yes, Turkey. A favorite of mine. As Poles isn't able to get to it, it's desperately cleared out for a throw in. And up for another throw in. <laughs> ah, this is gonna be endless, isn't it? Another throw in begins. Turkey, a favorite of mine, getting it around Willy. That card, ah. that card, we are lawyer, we are lawyer, picks it up, trying to get it over to Aspols instead of taking a shot himself. He had to, he had to turn and he just. It's pause abuse for this, this charge. For subs, what would you like, AOG? It's just those split second decisions that end up costing what could be goals. And they happen way too often for my taste. Both fullbacks. So rips up evidence coming out for 19 years of fucking perfection. 32 non-lethal stab wounds coming out for Hutch. Oh boy, now we've got another score. Moving on to the last one. <laughs> Alright. So oh, AOG's team. playing four at the back this time. Is that... They, they were playing three at the back in their previous games, weren't they? Yeah, they've been using different presets for matches. Not bad. Omit is able to take that ball away. Mosley trying to fight for it. Turkey is able to pick it up. Rhodesians are able to steal it away. Oof. There's the Kingfish. The Kingfish has Syndicalism running up. Open and shut's going to get to it first. Syndicalism's going to try and steal it away, but Omit is able to receive that pass. We got 15 and minutes. And you yeah, 15. 16, even. Yeah, more or less. 15 minutes plus stoppage. Subs will come on for AOG. Yeah, and you can really... <laughs> <laughs> I've only seen that full blender <laughs> just now. Oh, yes. Oh, there's a foul, oh, apparently. Oh, what is that? Uh, there was a oh, foul no. back somewhere. Turkey, apparently. Yeah, no card. <laughs> They just kind of let it go until the keeper caught it. 
He's being warned not to make his testimony too long. <laughs> or we're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> Alright, here's a free kick. Willie taking it. Put it way up for the Kingfish. Case gets in the way. Omit holding on to it. Has to go back to the keeper. And it's cleared. He's being dogged there. That is a good decision. Greg's gonna try yeah. and pick it up. Willie steals it away. GST is really putting the pressure on AOG, unlike before. Ooh, Turkey, nice takeaway. Greg struggling to keep on to it, and he gets a foul. Or gets fouled, rather. Rhodesian's getting a little too antsy for that ball. Yeah, that's going to be a nice okay. set piece. To try, but they shouldn't try to just loot it in the box there and try to set up. As pulls. Nope, cleared away. Exactly like that. If they had tried to go in from the wing or something, oh, that would have syndicalism. been better. Oh, syndicalism. Oh, syndicalism going on a run. Not good. No, Amit is able to take it away. It needs to go a little farther towards the midline. Thank you. Maybe they, maybe they should have tried to pass that to the center. All right. Actually, a timeout for GSG. AOG just want to do their final sub. GSG want to take off, swarm the box, and deep defensive line. Put on Gigan. Ah, trying to go for it, I see. And Swarm the boss has worked really well for them, though. Change the attacking area to center. All right. Oh, boy. Omit coming out for the wall. AOG electing to put in their own wall. Will it help them out? There's a foul. Bob Spymaster. Getting a flipper waggy. <laughs> Again, Greg getting bullied. <laughs> I mean, it's it's what you have to do. It's Greg. <laughs> the wall kicking it up. Everybody misses there. Hutch picks it up, gives it a ass pulls, put it back up to Hutch. Hutch! At the corner of the box, trying to get it over, Greg is wide! Oh! <laughs> tried to be too that cheeky just, with it. That would have oh. just ended it right there. That could have been the dagger. But just, just wide for that for that cheek right there. Ah! Oh. <laughs> he died for his trouble, too. <laughs> you objected to the right contradiction, but then you accused the detective. And then you got a <laughs> penalty. Uh... May I remind the defense that conjecture is not an acceptable it's not acceptable at this point in a trial. Prosecution may continue battering witness. Here's Juhan on the wing getting over to the liquor factory. We are a lawyer trying to dog and get that ball away. And there's a foul. I think uh, we are a lawyer got a little too, yep. Tripped him up, got him on the tip of the shoe. Here's Liquor Factory with a free kick, putting it over. Popped into the air, ass pulls, is able to pull it out of Syndicalism's ass. And clear yeah, it. And they can just stall that and kick it into their own... To kick it back into GSG's half. Yeah, GSG's they... has been kind of patient, and that is not going to work with only three minutes plus stoppage. Here's Two minutes, Liquor even. Liquor Factory getting over to Syndicalism, trying to get it over ah, to there Juhan, we go. Juhan, so he's oh, Juhan, it. It. It's wide! Wide! Just wide! Oh... That is their best chance in this entire half, I think. That was dangerous, though, from GSG. That, that could have, have very easily as well been a one to bring us to extra time. Well, it's a good thing they're running gig and press now. This is just one of those times where you have to steal the ball just immediately. They're forced back with it, blocks it, puts it up. We've got four minutes of stoppage. Liquor Factory oh, gets it over to Juhan. Nice. That card is able to block it out for a throw-in. Yes, G throw in though. But yep. that's definitely going to be our last chance. If if AOG factory. gets that back, then that's pretty much it. They're just going that to charge card. forward and Juhan comes uh, stall at the clock. Mosley. Over to Rhodesian Space Program. Mosley. Liquor Factory. Juhan popping it up for Kingfish. Kingfish can't get his head on it. Turkey, a favorite of mine. Wilhelm trying to steal it back. Oh, that's it! Shot. Ace Attorney! <laughs> Online or Attorney Online General are your VGL9 champions. That's some good clapping, Hush. <laughs> <laughs> Just. 
Yes. <laughs> oh, what a Cinderella story, though. Like, to the, the... Yeah, I agree. Uh, AOG went from ha- being from being in limbo, just completely in danger of not actually being qualified to participate, and now they're go- they went on to just win straight up. Yeah, just we weren't even sure if AOG was going to be alive enough for them to be able to participate before the VGL started. And they did manage to make the thread happen. They still have the live thread, so they're fine. Yep. Uh, and they got through They got through the group stages for the first time into the knockouts, and they just ran with it. They destroyed Kato and Shoujo, and they managed to get by XCOM, possibly favorites for winning, like having a reasonable chance of winning because they're just so classically strong. Um, getting by on penalties, uh, XCOM, and just taking it here. And uh, c- absolute congratulations. Just absolutely expected of turnabout. Oh, boy. Yeah, like, this was certainly a deserved victory for AOG. They got that one meme goal and they held on to it. Congratulations. Sometimes a good meme is all you need. All right, well, um, that was certainly quite the ass of a goal. Let's look at our stats here. I'm asking if the manager would like to have words or not uh, on air. They're allowed to now. And, uh, yeah, AOG just kind of deserved that. Look at all those shots <clears throat> compared to GSG's. <laughs> he doesn't even know. All right, well, mull that over. You're free to get in here if you'd like. I'll have to add you. This is a very... I think this is a very simple match. AOG arrived on the field. They found the ball in the goal. They won the game. And open and shut. Open and shut case. Really? Yeah. AOG just... This could have very... And this could have very easily gone to extra time again on a nil-nil. But... We are lawyer. Just... Or not we are lawyers. That card, excuse me. I gotta get that one right. That card, just getting that fucking meme as fuck goal in off of that defender's shoulder. Outstanding. And a lot of congratulations being sent to Attorney Online, but GSG, well done on making their highest placement ever again. Surpassing your third place for a second place this time. Third place? Second place? Hmm, logical projection much? Yeah, expect them to win VGLX. That'd be kind of cool, because, again, GSG have been in every single VGL. So after 10 VGLs, they finally win. That'd be a cool story. But, uh, oh, he does want to get in. All right, are we are we friends on ah. uh, Discord? Because that, that is a requirement. Nope. Got a friend request you. But, yeah, let's look at our man of the match. It is that card with a 7. Deserved. Well deserved. Well deserved. Alright. Alright. Added. So let's add him into this DM here. There we go. <sighs> Colin. Absolute madman. Let's uh let's look at the stats real quick. Ah, uh, here he is. Holy shit, we did it! You did it, boy! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, after f- four fucking VGLs, we did it. You did it, you made oh, it. Oh man. You, you not only made it knockouts, you made it to first place. <laughs> I, I couldn't have predicted this at all. No. Uh, I have no words, so, but uh, I just have <laughs> Well, to... you evidently have words since you're here. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, I have to give thanks to the general for just ticking by us through thick and thin and uh. uh I can... It's it's hard to believe we actually got to first place with pre GL. Even though, you know, a lot of people thought it wasn't so hype. I I think AOG tried their best to make it hype. And I think we did make it hype, so uh Yeah. I can't not- believe I can't believe it took this long to finally fucking kill group C. <laughs> no <laughs> right? <laughs> Jesus. Group C group of death, yeah. All it took was using GSG's defense against them. <laughs> <laughs> well done. That, that deflection was yeah. amazing. That was that was great. That was a great goal. Uh, but let me oh. do match details real quick. Uh, five minutes, Pablo's got a yellow. Uh, Twenty-three minutes, that card technically unassisted. 
59 minutes, some subs came on for GSG. Some subs at 75 and 82 for AOG, and that's it. Attacking areas, very left-wing GSG. And ball. I have to ask. Yes. I have to ask. Uh, AOG has a very, shall we say, uncommon or, how do I say it? A very unorthodox logo. How do you propose you put a star on that? Um, put a star on the badge, obviously. Oh. Gotta put the star on the badge. Will that be visible? Um, maybe you, you can try and make it, it as like, big as possible, yeah. <laughs> you gotta give Greg's star to be huge. <laughs> you gotta give Greg the biggest star possible. The biggest gold star sticker you've ever seen. <laughs> uh, I'm still not sure whether or not to make uh, We Are Lawyer or Greg uh, the rep, but either well, way, I'll leave general. it up to the general. Yeah. 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 They both put in an effort. I think Greg will probably be more popular. I mean, I think he's the boot. Oh, yeah, um, he is the boot. He's tied, I think. Oh, wait. It's no, tied. it's a tied it's boot. It's tied yes. with Daigo. It's tied with Daigo. So, yeah, I imagine Greg would be... Uh, the, the rep, yeah. More popular. That beautiful but... Greg trick. Mm -hmm. Multiple Greg tricks. Mm, yeah. All right. Well, congratulations again, AOG. You have won VGL9. You made it. You get the gold rep. I promise we won't make him suck. <laughs> oh my god. Please, that reminds me. Please don't fuck up, BG. Oh yeah, you want to make like your little announcement? Speaking of which... Uh, yeah, I did... We did uh, actually make the announcement in the VGL channel itself, but of course... Let's just make this a more open call to any VG fans whatsoever. If you don't want to see your team or your rep... Get uh, screwed by a bad run, hopefully no fetus. <laughs> Please no uh, VG is looking for more, more people to help out. I don't really care if it's but it's managing, testing, aesthetics, whatever. As always, more people is uh, more people is better. It's a uh, it's a philosophy that's stick that stuck with me all the way from VP, and I think it's going to be the same way for VG. Just yeah. recruit as much people as possible. It's the best edge. <laughs> council! Biggest council ever! Um, <laughs> but no, yeah, like, during me and GW's, like, run as VG, it's pretty much just been us. We've technically had testers. Like, Tech was a tester before he became a full manager. Um, but it's just mostly kind of been... A lot of it has been GW, to be to be honest, like I haven't had time sometimes for VGL or, or yeah, for, for CC as much time as I would like. So more people would help. We've had some offers already. Um, more offers are always welcome as well, just for testing or anything. Plus, I don't know what the fuck GW is doing <laughs> because GW after he still don't know. He's still on the wiki. He's still doing wiki edits, but he said he was gonna retire probably, but he hasn't removed his name so. I don't know. That it was going to be a week or something, and then he never just took it off. He never took it off, and he hasn't really said anything since then. So, um, and me, like, I was like, oh, God, I want to retire. But I thought GW was retiring, so I was like, okay, I'll stay for spring. So I'm definitely saving for spring. I might stay on after that, depending on how I feel, but might be the end of me as well. We'll see. Mm. Either way. It may also depend on how many, on how much help we get. Exactly. Like, that's another way, reason to get more help, just in case stuff happens and stuff like that. I mean, I'd help you guys out, but uh, I got other responsibilities. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. All right. Maybe you should. Maybe you should get. Maybe you should get your team out of the fetus as well. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. <laughs> it's okay. It'll make a cup anyway. So. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Like. Mega baby. Mega Babby actually might, like, okay, speaking away from VG Manager as part of Merit, we might have a Mega Babby in spring. It really just, <laughs> we're going to, look, we haven't said anything about it because it's kind of, demand was popular. To be honest, it's probably going to be a Mega Babby, but we need to, like, formalize it with uh, a poll. And we'll do that when, after winter. <laughs> Jesus <sighs> Christ, GSG's rating AOG. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are, but... Jokes yeah. on them, we like the free bumps. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll be honest, AOG was on the thin line earlier, and um, they've come back recently, but, you know, I'd really like for the thread to be 
return to its old form and uh, become great again. Like it He's used saying to. closely, mate. <laughs> it's not often you hear waggling tips down the line like, what I'm about to drop now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... Uh, final boss now? Or it stats? is, in fact, time for the final boss. I just okay. need to confirm that this is in here or not. The aesthetics are already in here. Hmm. Uh, is there a new save for the final boss? Or is it already... Rig should have gotten that goal. And this yeah, is just a little reminder, if you are interested in uh, in helping VG out, uh, just hit me up or QD on uh, Discord. We should be fairly... Recognizable. Yeah, you can hit also, me on Discord or Skype or wherever. I was thinking, um, maybe a victory video. <laughs> ah, yes. Sure. Why not? Absolutely. Uh, so I was thinking me. about the 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 first the video the only recording of um We Are Lawyer <laughs> playing. <Please. laughs> uh, pass it to me and I'll play it. Sure. Before we move on to our final boss. Uh, should we do it? After the final boss? Uh, you can do after the final boss. All right, sure. Mm. Yeah, while we do the interlude, I would like to take this time to finish my theory. <laughs> oh, no! Wow. Please, <laughs> yes, no, excellent. Stop. Greg, please stop. No, keep going. Keep going. Keep, please, keep going. <laughs> okay, I gotta you, get uh, I, If I recall correctly, we were something about the wings of the Iron Curtain. Uh, yeah. Uh, if I could be <laughs> played out with the accompany of the appropriate theme of the best reasoning... Please. Sure. Please. All right, you want me to play the... Uh, is that the normal victory anthem? Yep. Yes. All right. Well, there you go. All right. So, last I was, the Sasanian Empire was founded by Ardashir I. At the most powerful point in history, the, the empire encompassed all of Iran, Iraq, Arabia, etc., including parts of Central Asia, and that includes Uzbekistan. To be specific, it's capital of Tashkent. This capital was destroyed by Genghis Khan. In 1219, it was rebuilt and profited by the Silk Road. In the second millennium BCE, many things were traded on the Silk Road. One of these things happened to be the Balas Rubies. Just what are Balas Rubies? A Balas Ruby is usually colorless. However, there is one color it can be, and it's blue! A famous ruby we know of is the Timur ruby. These rubies were in the British crown jewels. They were inscribed with the name and dates of the previous owners. The second being Akbar, his name translating to the Great. He was born in 1542. Another man who was born in 1542 was Jacob Christoph Blairer von Wartz Wartensi. This man was Bishop of Basel. Dio the diocese of Basel is a Roman Catholic church in Switzerland. The important thing to note here is that the seat of the Bishop of Basel is in Solothurn. This city was founded in 1218. An event that also happened in 1218 was a movement in order for Pope Honorius to reverse Pope Innocent III's judgment to let the Kingdom of Leon inherit a fife. Specifically, Pope Innocent I, the third, he was the one to forge the Fourth Crusade. The Fourth Crusade, Aid's idea, was to conquer Muslim-controlled Jerusalem. The attack came down, destroying Galata Tower. The tower was rebuilt in the year 1348. In that year was when the bubonic plague made its way to England through the Bristol Channel. The Bristol Channel just so happens to have flooded in the year 1607. A lesser-known flooding was in the year 1451. And who was born in the year 1451? Christopher Columbus! The year he set off for his voyage was in the year 1502. Who else was born in the year 1502? Pope Gregory XIII, and his motto being Apri et Closi. Or in English, Open and Closed, this single-handedly proves Payne was one to commit the murder. Oh wow, that ended right when uh, the victory anthem did. 